Hello YouTube. Um, in this video, let's do some MySQL multi-master replication. Um, on my other video, um, I did a master-slave replication, and in this video, I'm going to be repeating most of the steps there, um, but I'm going to be doing it twice. Um, so here I've got SendVM01 and SendVM02. Um, let me log into both of these VMs. And on the second tab, let me log in to send VM02. Okay, back to send VM01. I've already installed MariaDB server on both of these servers. It's just a vanilla installation, uh, just a fresh installation. I haven't done anything other than just installing uh, MariaDB server. Uh, and let's do some basic things. Um, okay. Let's open the firewall. And now let's clean up the databases. And um, I'm gonna edit the MySQL configuration here. So this is our master server. So let's um, enter server ID equals one and log bin equals MySQL bin. Restart MariaDB service and let's create a password file. Nothing here. And now let's create a user for replication. Sorry, it should be Grand Replication Slave. Okay, and now what we gonna be doing is let's lock the table just for read-only access and um, do a master status okay we're going to be needing this while setting up the slave on SendVM02. Let's go to SendVM02 and do all the essential things. Let's open up the firewall port. and do the initial configuration. And create a password file.
okay just the default databases and back to send vm01 let's create a um, second tab and log in to send vm01 what i'm going to do here is um dump the mysql database and export it um, because we have done little changes to it we have added a replication user so that would have gone into mysql database so i'm going to dump the database on sendvmo1 export it and do an import on sendvmo2 just to make sure um, the mysql we start with a clean sync So back here you've got mysql dot sql and before doing anything we need to edit the mysql configuration um, to tell that this is going to be the slave okay this time we're not replicating any specific database we're gonna replicate everything so all we need is just this one server id let's restart mariadb service okay done um what else we need to do let's import it That's done. Log into MySQL. And now we need to tell this slave who the master is. So change master to master underscore hosts equals. Let's go back to send me one and copy this entry here. Send me mo to paste it. And finally master log position equals which is 458. Okay, start slave. Slave is running. You can see by doing show process lists, you've got um, these two processes here. Um, it's in the correct state, waiting for master to send event. And let's do a show slave status. And seconds behind master is null. Slave IO running, slave SQL process running, connected to send VM01 master, replication user, log position, log file, everything is looking good. And back in the master, let's do. Okay, again, I need to install it, start. Okay, we've got an established connection to the MySQL port, which is from 192.168.102, which is send vm02. Okay.
as you know this is a minimal installation so we need to be installing lots of package yeah it's send me a mode the connection is from send me a mode to and on here if you do mysql minus e show process lists you can see send me a mode to this is the connection from our slave master so master slave is done now what we need to do is do the same process um, in the reverse order like but before that we forgot to unlock the tables cool that's done and um, so now we're gonna be um, setting up master configuration on send vm02 and slave configuration on send vm01 so let's go back to send vm02 this is currently uh, the slave and we also need to set it as a master so to do that we need to edit the mysql configuration file and add the binary logging file That is it, and we start MariaDB. Log into MySQL to a show master status, and make a note of these two values. Let's go back to send VM01. We don't need this one and quit do we need to change anything in the mysql configuration i don't think so so let's log into mysql show master status master is running show slave status slave isn't running because we haven't configured this as a slave so we need to tell who is the master for this slave process on send vml one send vml two is going to be the master for this slave the same replication user because you have already synced uh, the mysql um, database from sendvmo1 to sendvmo2 after creating the replication user it should be this one And finally, master log position 245. Start slave. Show slave status. Seconds behind master is zero. That's good. And IO running, SQL running log position 245 binary log file is connected to send me a mode to waiting for master to send event looking good um, so this replication user uh, is connected to this host to system user looks good and let's check okay um, MySQL okay let's log back into MySQL and check the master status here show master status MySQL bin 458 and on send VMO2 if you do show slave status
458 mysql bin zeros followed by 1 458 mysql bin followed by 1 okay so in here if you do show master status mysql bin 245 and back in send vmo1 if you do show slave status Seconds behind master is zero. I running, SQL running, everything looks okay. MySQL bin one two forty five, and MySQL bin two forty five. So now we have got a perfect MySQL master master replication. Now we could um, test it. Um, show schemas. Nothing here show schemas the default one so from send vmo one i'm going to create a new database db1 show schemas so you've got a new database db1 from send vmo one and going back to send vmo two let's do show schemas and you could see db1 got created here so now what I'm going to do is create a table I've created a table named dbtb1 in db1 database on send vmo2 let's go back to send vmo1 and um, see what tables we have got in db1 show tables from so you've got dbtb1 let's try to insert some values into that table and see if it has appeared on send vmo2 insert into db1 dot dbtb1 values we've got that on send me a multi if you do You've got that and from here if you try to drop the database that's gone and then send vmo1 that's gone that's the basic multi master replication um, what you could do is there are lots of um, options that you can specify on the uh, Etsy my.cnf configuration to tell um, which database you want to be um, you want replication um, which database you want to be synced between these two servers and uh, we can also specify um, which tables or which database you want to ignore in this case we haven't specified any options so everything you are doing on server 1 will get replicated to server 2 and vice versa um, that is it I wanted to show in this video uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed bye